Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeremiah. 75 Tesla Model 3 slash Y tips that you should know in under 10 minutes. Let's get into it. If you're trying to turn on or off your HVAC system, just press and hold. No need to go into the climate settings. If you're ever low on battery, just remember that there's a three-ish kilowatt hour battery. So 0% isn't actually 0%. You can merge friction brakes and regen via a setting. This allows for one pedal driving even when it's super cold. Tesla has finally brought the auto turn signal shut off to the Model 3 and Y. No more forgetting to turn off your turn signal. Slow scrolling increases autopilot speed one mile at a time. Fast scrolling is plus five. Speed Speed up manually in fast scroll to set to whatever speed you're currently going and tapping the speed limit icon will set it to the speed limit. Open your trunk, pull it down and press and hold the close button. Now your trunk will open to that height. You can have five quick controls in the Tesla app. Just drag your desired fifth quick control to the far right. You may need to remove your case, but eventually it will work. You can unlatch the driver's side door via the phone app, just in case the recess door handle is iced over. In your navigation app of choice, hit share and select the Tesla app. Your desired destination will populate on your Tesla's nav. Do not park next to other people at 150 kilowatt superchargers. Always leave a space. Only when you can't are you allowed to. Stop overcharging at superchargers. Just stop. As long as you're going under five miles per hour, you can change gears without hitting the brake. Swipe to adjust temp and volume. Swipe on the nav box to go home or work, assuming you have those destinations set. There is an emergency charge port release in the trunk just in case your charger ever gets stuck. Pressing and holding your parking button doesn't engage a parking brake. You do this if going into park fails and can be done while driving if your normal brakes fail. You can assign a number of different quick controls to the left scroll wheel. I personally use it for cameras to quickly increase my situational awareness. You can see the last time your tires were swapped and or rotated via the service settings. You can see your last known tire pressure in the app by pressing the wheel icon. You can get a quick preview of your upcoming trip via the app's new navigation feature. Before we get into the next tip, I wanna give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, me. Click the link down in the description or head to teststuff.com for all of your Tesla accessory needs. We have jack pads, we have matte black dual motor emblems, we have all weather floor mats to cover the entire car. You can also use code YouTube all caps for 10% off. That's the sponsor, back to the tips. Forgot to precondition your battery? Just turn on your HVAC system, it does the same thing. If the acceleration is too much, enable chill mode. This cuts your power output in half, or at least it feels like it's in half. This isn't an ice car. Don't slam the front trunk. Place one hand on each side of the Tesla T and press down slowly to avoid damage. Using the manual door release will now auto roll the window. You still shouldn't use this versus the button, but in case a passenger mistakenly does, there's less of a chance that they damage your car. The closer you can keep your daily charge limit to 50%, the better for long-term battery degradation. Unless, of course, you have an LFP battery. Stop ceramic coating your seats. It's a scam. Clean them with soap and water as Tesla advises or fragrance-free baby wipes for more convenience. Wanna know how I have over 15,000 miles on Model 3 with zero curb rash? Back in everywhere. You can see your back wheels from the camera. Then you just straighten up the car. Wanna get the best charging speeds at a supercharger? Precondition before arriving. Just input the supercharger you're headed to and the car will do it automatically. New to one pedal driving? Well, instead of trying to perfectly time when to fully let off the accelerator, just let off of it early and then feather your way to the stop. You can set when you want the car to charge via the app. This is great if you have an on slash off peak energy plan at home to save money. Want to get the best efficiency while driving on the interstate? Get in the far right lane and don't go over 70 miles per hour. You get the best performance when at 90% or above SOC. Voice commands are great. Learn them. My favorite is dome lights on and or off for quickly finding something in the car at night. If you're planning on buying a Tesla and charging via a normal wall outlet, don't. Level 1 charging is inefficient and it sucks. Want to get the most bang for your buck with home charging? Skip the Tesla wall connector and get a NEMA 1450 plug. They provide almost the same speeds, but at a much lower cost. Worried about warranty? You can buy an extension via the app that adds two years or 25,000 miles. Tesla doesn't natively support Apple Watch, but some App Store apps do. Might be worth checking out. You can set an offset for your speed when going into autopilot. My personal preference is 10%. You can also set an offset for speed limit warnings along with having the sign light up or ding at you if you ever go over it. You can have the car ding at you when the light turns green and you're not paying attention. You'll never be that person again. You can enable blind spot cameras to automatically come up when turning Turning on your blinker. Tesla tells you what your tire PSI should be. Don't look at the max PSI on your tire sidewall and pump to that. That is an awful idea. Cold means when you haven't driven on it for multiple hours or overnight. 
Seriously, just inflate your tires in the morning before you've driven the car for the day. FSD is not worth $15,000, no matter what some people might tell you, when you can't even transfer it to a new Tesla. Buy the subscription instead if you want FSD, come on. With FSD, set your auto lane change to Mad Max. This feels the most human-like. If the beeps the car makes are too loud, enable Joe mode. Perfect if you have people sleeping in the car. As long as Sentry mode is on, you can view a live feed of your car's cameras from the app. 99% of problems you have on the screen can be fixed by doing a soft reboot. Just press and hold both scroll wheels until the screen goes black. You can quickly switch between miles and percentage by just tapping it. Be careful disengaging autopilot by turning the wheel. Traffic aware cruise control will remain active, so the car will literally keep going. If you're ever getting out for a quick stop, set keep climate on. This is a game changer in super hot or super cold weather. Press and hold under the Model 3 text in the settings, type service, and get access to a super cool menu that totally shouldn't be used unless you're qualified. Useful for nerdy information, reinstalling updates, and some other things. If you just can't seem to find a good hand placement on the wheel to avoid autopilot nag, try resting your elbow on the side of the door and using a hook grip on the wheel. Some people cover up the interior Tesla camera for privacy reasons. Others do it for less autopilot nag. Doesn't work with FSD, but I swear I get less snag on normal autopilot now. If your YouTube quality is stuck at 360p, tap on the resolution twice and then use your left scroll wheel to cycle through resolutions. If you're ever worried about your mirrors or charging port icing over, don't be. Turning on defrost will heat up these areas to melt snow and ice. Some supercharger icons showing gray, those are the ones you can't make it to with your current SOC. Get jack pads and keep them in your car. I mentioned not to park next to other people at 150 kilowatt superchargers. However, at 250s, this rule doesn't apply. There is a new setting that enables chimes when changing gears. This is kind of a stupid one, but as of a recent update, you can rotate the car on screen when parked. The only reason to not skip the wall connector over a 1450 is if you have multiple Teslas that need to charge at the same time. You can daisy chain them on the same breaker. Be comfortable with the features and price at the time of delivery. Tesla makes massive changes overnight. RIP to all the Model Y long range December 2022 buyers. While you will spend next to nothing on maintenance, tires wear down much faster, so be prepared for that. The auto wipers suck. Push the button on the left stock to quickly bring up the settings to change speeds. Stop paying monthly for premium connectivity. It's 20 USD cheaper to buy it for an entire year up front. If you have a MyQ enabled garage, you don't need the $350 paid upgrade from Tesla to control your garage door from your car. A recent update introduced a search function in settings. This is very useful for finding specific settings. Create custom profiles, maybe one for winter with different steering and acceleration, or one for working on your laptop while in the car with a different seating position. If you're ever worried about region kicking in and causing your car to slip when hitting water or ice, don't be. The car can tell when it loses traction and will adjust region accordingly, automatically and much faster than you'd be able to manually react to. If you ever get locked out of autopilot, just pull over or wait till you hit stop and go traffic and cycle the charge port door. If the car is yelling at you to apply force to the wheel and you're wiggling it, stop. Applying torque in one direction for a few seconds is what it's asking you to do. You could also just scroll up or down on one of these scroll wheels to get rid of the autopilot nag. In the event that you ever need to save a clip, wait a few seconds after. This ensures the entirety of what you wanted to record will be saved. Take pictures and videos of everything on delivery day. This ensures you're protected in the event that your excitement has you overlooking a cosmetic flaw. Phone calls can now be controlled from the left scroll wheel. Yes, this has been a thing on the S and X, but now it's on the 3 and Y. If your music is ever bugging out, make sure you're not an easy entry. If that fails, try swapping the current app and back. That fixes 99% of my problems. Almost everything that I mentioned in this video, I have other videos going much more in depth on. So if you're interested, check out the channel. Subscribe for more Tesla related content. Leave a like, please. Peace.